The FDA hits a new nerve with the medical community. A drug to treat multiple sclerosis was rejected in the U.S., even though it got the green light in three other countries. The controversy is whether the trials on the drug Limtrada were done correctly. KITV's Cassie Gallo joins us. And Cassie, I know you talked with someone who could really benefit from this treatment. I did, and the FDA says based on the unusual format of the trials, they don't have clear answers on if Limtrada worked or not. But patients and doctors I spoke to insist it did, and they say the MS community is desperate for more treatment options. It's an auto injector. It took 29 years. Ready, break. Before Russell McCoy's life centered around needles. It's put in here just like that. And medicine. Make sure that I have a cotton ball as they always bleed. To control his multiple sclerosis, Russell gives himself shots three days a week. It's really thin, that's all I know. A 180 degree difference of life before his diagnosis. My left side of my body was starting to deplete. Russell faces daily debilitating symptoms. His muscles weakened and he has bad bouts of vertigo. He even struggles with small things like playing the guitar. Something playing your whole life, it's kind of hard to uh, see it kind of wash away, you know? MS is an autoimmune disease. It attacks the brain and spinal cord. And the grim reality is there's no cure. You got to sit there. You got to act like everything's OK. You got to smile. But really, it's just it's just a bunch of acting. You know, what's what's I'm screaming on the inside most of the time. There, there are multiple lesions scattered. Treatment is different for everyone. Right now, only 10 different drug options are out there. The greatest difficulty we have at the MS is pairing the patient to the correct treatment. That's why doctors like Edward Fox and Round Rock insist on more. He played a part in the Lemtrada study and says its effectiveness should outweigh how the trials were handled. We felt this was a valid option because there were a number of clinical trials that did show efficacy and showed safety that would be manageable for us. If approved, Lemtrada would be most aggressive and only eight days of doses compared to Russell's 152 a year. In a sad sense, some of us are lab rats in a way. And until more medical advances, Russell's taking it one day, one shot, and one verse at a time. I'm trying to learn to live with it, do the best I can with the stuff that I have. It's easy to just get discouraged and be like, I quit. If you want to voice your opinion about the FDA's decision, find my story on KITV.com under the Health tab and look for the Citizens Petition link.